This demonstration will show the pan mass challenge application that I built for the iPhone. I'm showing it on the iPhone simulator since it's the easiest way to record it, but it acts identically on the actual device. The icon is this, this year's icon for the pan mass challenge, which I got from the website. If you start the app up, um, there's four main tabs that you'll see across the bottom. First tab is the media tab, which has the news articles from the blog. So these are the latest articles that come straight from the blog. Um, you can click on it, click uh, through the brief message, and you can read the full article with the pictures and everything. The next section down um, from the blog is the press releases. Again, these come from the website. Um, so this is the uh, registration notification that's posted on the website. At the bottom, it's the, the videos that uh, were also on the website as well, but they're on your phone so you don't have to wait for them to download. So if you just tap on the video, um, the video will play. Uh, you can watch it, you can rotate the video and so on. Standard videos. So the next tab over is for friends. And uh, since it's the first time I started the application up, uh, it's telling me to add a friend, uh, tap the search button, which you can tap here or here. So if I tap it here, I can type in uh, anybody's name or any portion of a name, so I'll put my own name in. Uh, since I'm a registered writer, uh, it finds the matches, um, I can tap on the name, and then I can see the details for uh, this person, in this case it's myself. So this would be the image. Um, I've been experimenting with uh, allowing this application to actually upload the image. Um, this is certainly would be possible, um, but I would need a, um, some minor assistance from, uh, from the developer of the website, the current PanMass website. Uh, I think it would be pretty trivial to do from the phone and would solve some of the issues with uploading images. So on the left hand side is the person's image. On the right hand side is a, a badge uh, indicating how many rides. This is my first ride. I'm pretty excited. Uh, and on the bottom is the goal amount, which whatever is set on the website, and then it has your route, which I'm doing the Sturbridge to uh, family finish. Below that, um, there's a donate link button. Uh, if you click that, it takes you straight to that person's uh, website um, donation page. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on the simulator, but if you zoom in, that'll say my name there. Um, the other kind of notion that we have here is that you can say email a link. So if I click on this, um, it'll actually retrieve the message that I write on the website and place it in there. Uh, and then I can just type someone in my address book and hit send, and now I've just emailed them a link to my donation page. Um, the third button is why I write. Again, that's the same message that's uh, in the email message, but you can just view it. Um, on the bottom here, you have the ride history. Um, since this is my first ride, it's, it's got my current uh, amount that I've raised and my route. Um, but there's also this add as a friend button, so I'm going to do that. And now I'm marked as a friend, so if I come back, um, I could do this for multiple people. I could pick this Rick Fontana, who he's not a relative or anything. I could mark him as a friend as well. Uh, and then if I go back to the uh, friends tab now, um, you can see I've got two friends marked. Uh, the other thing to note here is that if you uh, were to search for a team, like I'm also on the team called the Captain's Crew, I can search for that. Uh, and then when I click on the team, um, I'll not only see the, the, uh, the team, the team's history, I can actually see all the team members as well. So I can pick uh, a team member uh, and also mark them as a friend as well. So on the next tab down on the right is the Sponsor tab. And to view your sponsors, obviously you have to log in just like you do on the website. So you use the same credentials to log in. And then you tap the, uh, the uh, login button. Or you can just... And it's validating your credentials. And now you can see um, all the people that have sponsored you and the amounts uh, as well as their address. And you can also tap on uh, this person. Uh, you can see the email address there. You could say, hey, I'd like to add them to it as a contact to my contact database. Uh, so if I go back to the contact now, you'll see there he is. And he even puts a note in there saying um, how much you've donated. So if I switch back to the application now, um, I can also do a send a thank you email and it'll format out a, a, a simple message. Um, and you can you know change it as you see fit and if you press send it'll send it to them as a thank you. 
And that's the basics of the application. Um, things I'd like to do, uh, which I haven't done yet, and we'll probably do in a future version, is a Facebook integration, so you'll be able to um, easily uh, integrate this with your Facebook account and make it post uh, you know, statuses and updates and things like that. Um, during the ride itself, um, if you're logged in on the sponsor tab, you'll also be able to write a simple message there um, as you check in at the water stops. Um, and that'll actually get um, updated to the people who you've marked, who marked you as a friend. Uh, sort of similar if you ever use the Facebook application, when somebody posts to your wallet, you get a little note that pops up on your phone that says, um, you know, someone's posted to your wallet. Well, you'd get one saying, you know, Eric has checked in, you know, at Water Stop 2 or Water Stop 3 or something like that. Uh, the other thing I'd love to be able to do um, is, is upload the photo. So on the settings tab here where you can change your credentials, um, there would be ability here to um, uh, upload the photo, um, which is easy to do on the phone. You know, you just simply go to the camera and you can snap a picture. Um, you can force the picture to be rectangular, uh, the right dimensions and so on, and we'd be able to upload it directly to the website. Um, I think that would help a lot of people out. I know uh, I struggled myself, and I'm a web guy, to actually upload my image. And that's uh, the demo so far.